Good afternoon, my little friends. I hope that you are joining me for Nana's story time because it's time for Nana's story time. I've missed reading to you, and today we're going to start the new year with a, an older story called Benjamin's Balloon. And it's written by the author Janet Quinn Harkin. And we're going to find out what happens to Benjamin and his balloon. Do you like to play with balloons? Do you have balloons at your birthday party or at certain celebrations? Maybe you had balloons for New Year's. Some people have balloons for New Year's. Lots of people have balloons for their birthday. I know here at our house, we had balloons during the holidays because we had one of our granddaughters who celebrated her third birthday. So we had lots of pink balloons. So let's find out about Benjamin and his balloon. One morning, Benjamin found a balloon and started to blow it up. He found it on the ground. Ugh. He blew and blew, and the balloon got bigger and bigger. Ooh, it's getting big, and the kitty cat is following him because he wants to see what happens to Benjamin and his balloon. Stop blowing, Benjamin, said his sister. Your balloon has knocked over my dolls. But Benjamin kept on blowing. It looks like sister had her dolls on the front porch and that big balloon growing knocked them off. But Benjamin is still blowing. Stop blowing, Benjamin, said his mother. Your balloon has pushed the clock into the fish tank. But Benjamin kept on blowing. You see that poor fish? The fish in the fish tank and now there's a clock in the fish tank. Not a good place for the clock. Stop blowing, Benjamin, shouted his father. You are squashing your grandmother. Oh, it is getting so big that grandma is in the way of that big balloon. Benjamin is blowing. So Benjamin, he went outside. And he kept on blowing. Look how big that balloon is. It looks like it's almost as big as the trees there. And the kitty cat. Do you see the kitty cat? He's still following to see what happens to Benjamin and his balloon. Stop blowing, Benjamin, called the mailman. Your balloon knocked me off my bike. But Benjamin kept walking and kept blowing. Poor mailman, he was riding his bike to deliver the mail and he got knocked down with that big, huge balloon that Benjamin keeps on blowing. Stop blowing, shouted the farmer. You are pushing over my cows. <gasps> you see those cows? They were standing upright. Now they've been knocked over because the balloon is getting way too big. Because Benjamin is still blowing on the balloon. Can you see him? That balloon is so much bigger than he is. But Benjamin kept on blowing until he came to a big open field. The balloon now was enormous. I wonder what would happen, said Benjamin, if I let go of this balloon. But just then, a big wind blew. It swept Benjamin and the balloon into the air. <gasps> Off goes Benjamin into the sky, because that balloon is so big now. Darn, said Benjamin as he held on tightly. Over fields it lifted him, over towns, and far, far away. Oh my goodness, he is seeing a lot of the world from way up high. The balloon sailed over a city. It sailed between skyscrapers. People working on the 99th floor 
stopped to watch Benjamin speed past their windows. And Benjamin smiled at their surprised faces. This is so fun after all, he said to himself. There's all the people and the 99 floors and all the city buildings. He is flowing over many things. The balloon was blown on and on toward the high mountains. It bounced off sharp snowy peaks that sparkled like cake frosting, but it didn't pop. See those mountains of snow? Our mountains here in Utah are getting some snow. And he's even, look at Benjamin, he has a snowball in his hand that he's picked up off the mountain as he flew across the mountain, hanging on to that big, humongous balloon. Then it sailed out over the ocean and all sorts of seabirds pecked at it. But it didn't pop. Look at those seagulls. They're pecking at it, wondering what is this big thing flying in the sky? And the fish, they're seeing it in the ocean, this big balloon floating by. Benjamin and the balloon drifted over a faraway island. The natives were afraid and blew darts at the balloon. <gasps> but they missed. So Benjamin kept on flying over all kinds of things. You see their darts that they're blowing at him? They kept on missing that big old balloon. Benjamin and the balloon were blown to the North Pole. Eskimos hunting seals threw spears at the balloon, but they missed. That balloon is big and everybody seems to not be able to hit that big balloon that Benjamin is hanging on dearly and flying over many people and many things. People in every town and village all around the world ran out of their houses to see Benjamin because they wanted to see Benjamin sail past. Benjamin wanted to wave, but he didn't dare let go of the balloon. There's all kinds of people and different buildings and all different places that Benjamin was floating over. Just then, Benjamin began to feel tired of holding on, and the wind died down. And the balloon came to, the, to a rest near Benjamin's house. Everyone came running to see the gigantic balloon. Benjamin held it high above his head with one hand. There he is on the ground, and there is family and everyone that knows him they're so excited for to have him back after floating all over the place. Then quickly, before another wind could come up, he let go. The balloon went <whistles> until there was no more air in it and Benjamin was content. There the balloon was. Have you ever done that? Is blowing up a balloon and then let it go, and it makes a kind of a squeaking sound, and it just gets smaller. And there's Benjamin. Look at, he's looking at the moon, which kind of looks like his balloon. At the end of the day, of his full day of blowing the balloon and floating everywhere and seeing so many people and so many places, but he was tired it was time to go to bed. So remember Benjamin's balloon when you have a balloon to play with next time. And maybe if you have a balloon that you can blow up, you can see how big you can make that balloon. Do you think you can make it big enough that would take you in the sky and you would float away? Would you want to float away? I'm not sure I would. I'm kind of scared of being way up high. I'm kind of scared of heights. So I don't think that would be very fun for me. But Benjamin thought it was great. So I hope you enjoyed our story. Remember to have fun and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining. Mwah.